Hey everybody, welcome to Rubber Toe Rundowns, and I'm your host, Roberto. In my rundowns, I share with you details about accessories or techniques that go into the Pacific Rim Speedway diecast track. This episode of Rubber Toe Rundowns is sponsored by Slanman Customs. Be sure to click the link and check out all of his 3D printed accessories for diecast tracks. I am super excited to share with you the War World Scenics Double Track Girder Bridge. This 00HO scale kit is made of MDF and comes pre-painted in gray. You can find out where I purchased this kit on Amazon by clicking the link. I really like how the laser markings look like rivets here. Now keep in mind that it did take a while since the War World Scenics is in the UK. The kit did not come with instructions, but it is pretty straightforward to build. Now when assembling any kit made from MDF, here are the tools I recommend. First I suggest any lightweight hobby hammer with a soft polymer head, just in case you need to tap some pieces together. You will also need some kind of sanding tool like the sanding brick I have here, but even an ordinary fingernail file works just as good. Now even though some MDF kits have pretty tight tolerances, you may still find a couple loose joints here and there. So I recommend either wood glue or clear PVA glue, and lastly, a good hobby knife kit because sometimes it's better to cut the wooden sprues than trying to pop them out by force. Here is an example of how I use the flathead blade on my X-Acto knife and cut the sprues with the help from my hobby hammer. Just look around the edges to find where the parts are still connected to the wooden sprue and give it a few taps with the hammer until the piece is separated from the sprue. Just be careful when doing this so you don't cut off any fingers or rubber toes. After the main pieces are assembled, I apply just a droplet of clear PVA glue on all of the joints before I attach the frame that has all of the rivets, which you saw earlier in this video. The glue not only affixes the frame to the side of the bridge, but it also prevents the joints from coming apart. And don't worry about any excess glue. Since it is clear, it becomes almost invisible once the glue dries. I just simply line them up and then use small clamps to help keep the pieces in place until the glue dries. I'm assembling my bridges in the garage, but I brought them into the house where it's warm in order to dry overnight. Now there were a lot of bits that I had to punch out. Normally you can just throw these bits away, but I really like the jagged shapes. So I will be keeping these to use as rubble around my track. So are you ready to see what this bridge looks like finished? Man, this looks so cool. The bridge is five and a half feet long, and I will also be adding more diode LEDs to the bridge. Check out this view from the Slanman Custom start gate. That is so awesome. Thanks for checking out this episode of Rubber Toe Rundowns. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more diecast racing. You can also join the Monster Motorsports Diecast Racing Facebook group. Until the next update, stay safe and keep your wheels on the road.